Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan, a bad who uses Pan as a shield. Today, we're diving into Unity, created realistic, yet simple flashlight with added offset and more. We'll actually be creating a flashlight, adding it to our camera, giving it an offset. This video will actually be put inside a series of videos covering Unity tips and tricks. So stay tuned for more. All files used in this video will be available on my GitHub. You can find the link to my GitHub in the description. Also, I've published my VHS style horror game. You can check it out in the link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. Every bit of your support means a lot to me. It actually helps me reach a wide their audience thanks a lot for your beautiful comments because it gives me a lot of inspiration and a lot of positive energy with all those being said let's begin for the first section of the video i'm gonna tell you guys what you guys need uh, the first thing you need is a new scene of course you need a first person controller you can use any first person controller i'm actually using the first person controller from the unity standard assets if you don't have the asset it's deleted from the asset store but i'll leave a link in the description to my google drive you can download it from there so as you see this is my fist controller it has a body and it has a camera so the first thing you have to do is you have to right click on your camera create an empty object uh, you should select your empty object i'm gonna name it offset flash light you can name it whatever you want uh, be careful the position needs to be zero 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 when it's parented to the camera then you can just simply drag and drop it anywhere so it is not the child of the camera anymore its transform is gonna change so this doesn't actually matter you have to be careful you don't have to move anything right now your offset flashlight is actually at the same place as your camera we need to create a script i'm gonna create a folder i'm gonna call it offset flashlight i'll be creating a script create the mono behavior script or a c sharp script in any unity version i actually have unity 6 i'm gonna call it offset flash light you can name it whatever you want double click to open it up for this section of the video we'll be adding some stuff up here the first thing you need is a private vector 3 it's actually the offset so i'm just gonna call it offset for example vect 3 then i'm gonna be creating a public game object and it is our camera our follow camera so it should actually follow the camera then we need a serialized field i'm gonna make a serialized field so we can change the amount from outside the code private float i'm gonna say move speed i'll make it equal to 13 here right now but we can change the value from outside the code as well you'll better understand it in the following minutes and uh, we actually need a public light it's actually our flashlight so we can turn it on or off when we press f then uh, we need a boolean to actually check if the flashlight is on or off so we can actually turn it on or off i'm gonna make it private private boolean flashlight is on is equal to false by default our flashlight is off then we're gonna go for the audio parts i'm gonna put it inside here i'm gonna say public audio source i'm gonna call it source it's gonna play our you know flashlight on or off clicking sounds we need a public audio clip for flashlight on the line on sound and we need a public audio clip for flashlight on the line off sound this is for when we turn on our flashlight and this is for when we turn off our flashlight so we go to the void start if you don't have it just create it it is very easy just say void start it's gonna create it automatically because i have it here it's not gonna create it the thing you're gonna say here is gonna you know give your offset value at the start so we're just gonna say we had a vector 3 for our offset and it's actually called offset vec 3 so we're just gonna say offset vec 3 is equal to transform the position the position of, a, of the game object with the script which is actually this one here offset flashlight minus the camera we're gonna follow so we say follow cam that transform that position so the offset is actually this game object's position minus this camera's game object's position then we're gonna go inside the void update the actual function is gonna happen here first i'm gonna you know show you guys the offset then i'm gonna create the function of turning the flashlight on or off first we're gonna say transform that position so the position of this offset is going to be equal to follow cam that transform that position plus our offset so it's going to be moving with an offset so our light is actually looking at the place of our camera plus an offset for the next thing we're going to be actually changing the rotation so we're just going to say transform that rotation equal to quaternion with the capital q dot slurp and it's going to slurp from this player's transform that rotation 
to our camera that transform that rotation with the speed given it needs a speed we actually had a speed before so it's called move speed so move speed be careful this thing is important here times time that delta time if you don't put this times that delta time it's not going to show you the offset because it's going to refresh every frame we add this time that delta time to so it refreshes every you know second and not refresh it each frame so these two lines are actually what we need for the offset. But right now we're gonna actually create the turning on or off our flashlight function. So first we're gonna say if input that get key down. So if we've pressed, for example, F, you can change it to whatever you want. For example, E, but normally F is the flashlight. So we're just gonna say if we've pressed F, we will go ahead and check if our flashlight is on or off. If it was on, we make it off. If it was off, we make it on. We're gonna exactly be doing this. So we're just gonna say if flashlight is on is equal to false. So if it was off, if our flashlight was off, we're gonna be turning it on. Then we're just gonna say else if flashlight is on is equal to true. So if it was on, we make it off. To make it on when it was off, we're just gonna say flashlight that enabled equal to true so when it was false we make it true this part is important flashlight is on is actually equal to true we have to change the boolean as well so it doesn't confuse it and introduce any bugs then we just have to play the audio i'm just gonna add a place for audio you guys don't have to add these comments i'm just adding these because it's more readable uh, source dot play one shot so it's gonna play our flashlight turn on so we're just gonna say flashlight on sound and then we're gonna be kind of doing the same thing for this amount here flashlight that enable false if it was true if it was on we have to make it off so we're just gonna say flashlight that enable equal to false so we turn off our flashlight then we change our boolean flashlight is on equal to false then we just have to play the audio for when we're clicking to make it off source that play one shot flashlight off sound that's exactly how to do it i'll be putting this script in my github as i said in the intro if you guys want to just download it you can download it from my github the link is in the description uh, and that's it that's just for the script let's go ahead and check it out let's go ahead and create the function so we have the offset flashlight here we actually didn't give it any flashlight or something i just want to know uh, turn off my directional light so when i add the flashlight here you guys can actually see the light first of all select our offset flashlight object we created drag and drop our code to it so we have the code here uh, for the audio i'm gonna create a folder i'm gonna call it sounds i'll also be putting this sounds folder in my github as well so you can actually download this audios uh, i'll just put two audios here as you can see the audios has been added here what we want to do right now is we just want to add this to our game object first it needs a follow camera we just have to give it the camera you can click on here the circle give your camera you can just drag and drop your camera here this is the move speed i'm gonna be leaving it at 13. we actually need the flashlight we didn't create the flashlight so let's go ahead and create the flashlight Select your offset flashlight game object right click on it go to light add a spotlight this is the spotlight i'm going to be changing its this radius to 50 and make this one also 50 i think that's enough you can tweak with the settings as you want uh, so go to our offset flashlight drag and drop our spotlight to the flashlight section and drag and drop it or click on the circle again for the source it needs an audio source we don't have any audio source so select our offset flashlight i'm going to be giving my audio source exactly to the offset flashlight object so it doesn't matter you can give it to another object but this way it is actually very simpler so i want to do it this way I click on this add component audio source just add it here here you can drag and drop this audio source here or you can drag and drop your object here or you can even click on the circle and find your object and we need two audios for the flashlight on sound this is flash on drag and drop it here flashlight off here these audios again are going to be in my github and that's it let's go ahead and check it out it is moving with an offset so by default it should be off because we told how to do it in my in our code we can you know make it equal to false by default in the editor or we can do it inside our code to you know Turn it off by default in the code we're just gonna say flashlight dot enable equal to false so it's gonna be turned off by default so when i start it you guys are gonna see my flashlight is actually off at the start so i turn it on as you can see there is an offset i can actually you know change the offset to like five so you guys see it more as you can see it's not it's actually moving with a delay you can give it like 50 speed as you see it's nearly the same speed you can change your flashlights values and change your flashlight settings so that's how to create a realistic flashlight with an offset in unity i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did the like would be amazing you can subscribe to see more contents like this you can tell me any comments or any opinions or any suggestions or anything you want to say in the comment section i would be glad to answer them hope all the best for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video